Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a toolbox tour here. Uh, won't be complete, I'm just going to go through the box. And what I plan on doing is, so this won't be an hour long, I'm just going to kind of quickly show you what's in the drawers. And then throughout the week, maybe like every day, I'll do a different drawer or a couple of diff different couple of drawers. Because I mean, I could spend a whole video just doing the top socket drawer. So yeah, I'll, I'll go through the, the main box and then I'll, I'll show you some stuff. And I'll just do like a quick overview. And then, like I said, throughout the week, I'll, I'll do a different drawer and you can watch them if it interests you. If not, skip it, you know. That way you're not stuck watching a boring one hour long video. And okay, so to start with, it's a it's a Husky 60 inch by 24 inch deep, uh, 11 drawer, heavy duty work center it's called. And it has a nice wood top, uh, ball bearing slides. I put the corner trim piece on myself. They're just aluminum angle with the carbon fiber vinyl tape on it. Added this piece of aluminum too, strip with there with the vinyl tape. Um, the Snap-on logo is off a of Snap-on box I had. Um, I stuck it on there. I've changed that a few times. I had, uh, for a while there, I had this Batman logo on there. And, uh, I don't know. Who knows what it'll be. Next week it might be a Mac box. Who knows? It's not like I'm pretending it's something it isn't. Okay. Um, my lock. A little paint gun on the keychain. Um, the lock works really good. No problem turning it. I did, did lube the the pivot points on the locking system on the bars in the back. So I'll just give you a quick quick look at the top drawer. The top drawer is sockets, extensions, and some ratchets. Impacts on this side. Metric SAE um, uh, turbo socket type things. Swivels, extent, regular extensions, wobble plus, and locking. Um, these are Capri sockets. Um, wheel sockets, obviously, impact stuff, spline sockets, half inch, half inch metric, three eighths, three inch SAE, quarter inch, metric and SAE, shallows, torx, hex, um, 120xp gear wrench, quarter inch, half inch, uh, little tiny quarter inch drive. Um, and various ratchets and more. Like I said, I'll get into this later when I do another video. So that's the top drawer. We'll go to the next drawer, which is wrenches. Um, there's everything way over in the corner there. Stubby SAE and metric gear wrench. Various gear wrench. Um, blue point. Um, all kinds of ratcheting wrenches. I mean, here we've got Tecton silver line gear wrench, channel lock. You name it. I think I did a video where I mentioned before I've got like six different kinds of ratcheting wrenches. All kinds of wrenches in there. Fold them back up to give you a full look at the full wrench drawer. Like I said, I'll go into more detail in another video. Next drawer, pliers, vice grips, tin snips, all sorts of stuff. Go into more detail again later. Gear wrench set here. These are some ratchets that I don't really use, but I don't want to get rid of. So I just pile them in the back of the drawer here. There is stuff. I'll back up and give you a better view of the whole drawer. There you go. Next drawer down. Um, various stuff. Drill bits here. Allen keys. Pickle forks. Small bolt cutters. Beam torque wrench. Pry bars. Various sizes. Ladies foot. Um, Big radiator hose pliers, pipe gun, um, chisels, taps, tap and die set, scale, um, lock pick set, calipers, torque sticks, more extractors. There's things, again, I'll go into more detail later. Just kind of giving you a brief overview here. Um, this is just kind of a bit of everything in this drawer. Stand back and just let you have a look. You can look in there and see, see what all's in there. Do torque wrenches of various sizes. All sorts of neat stuff. Uh, I'll save the bottom drawer for later. After last, I guess. Not later. Screwdriver is nothing special. There's some husky drivers I've had forever and liked. I keep thinking I'm going to get a nice set of screwdrivers back. I like these. They work good. And so there's no reason to, re no reason to replace them. See, this is what happens. I'm trying to talk too fast to 
not make this 30 minutes long and I'm, I'm mumbling. So anyway, that, like I said, go into more detail later. Just various screwdrivers. I've gotten rid of a whole bunch. Um, next drawer, electrical stuff. A lot of the same stuff everybody has. And again, I'll go into more detail with that one than I do. Next drawer is uh, interior trim tools, uh, putty knives, bondo spreaders, or sorry, plastic filler spreaders. Picks, bits, various bits of sorts. That drawer. Um, this is PM drawer, uh, maintenance. Oil filter, brake stuff, tire stuff. Okay, that should be in there. Back for a look. That's that. And this is a uh, battery tester. There's three jaw pliers back there. Big C clamp. Uh, extractor pump. And now to the deep drawer. Which is all sorts of things. Hammers, pipe wrenches, lockout kit, air tools. Sanders, drills, grinders, cutoff tools, air hammer, belt sander, drill, right angle drill, air saw, various air ratchets, half inch gun, three eighths, three eighths half inch, angle grinders, die grinders, chisels, and bits and stuff, and the great big machete at the back. Take a look at that. And as you can see, everything closes really easy. Really good ball bearing rollers on these these boxes. I did oil them with white lithium. Some really cool nice little chrome wheels. I like the fact that there's six of them rather than just four of them, two on each outbound end. There's in the middle, although there's no flex. I mean I can stand on this box. And if you look down here there's there's a power bar built in the side with USB ports and I believe one, two, three, four, five, five I think outlets. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter because I ran a cord out to this and I've got this big power bar up here on the wall. I put one of these little plug lights in here so I can I know when it's on or off with it just kind of at a glance. See? Boom. There's my internet. Computer on top. Uh, tablet I use for for um, OBD2 codes and stuff. Various things. Lights. Gloves. And this is a slide hammer puller. Ball bearing kit, caliper kit, vacuum kit, uh, jumper pack, and battery things. And this is an old box. It's just kind of an overflow box right now. I do plan on going through it and and organizing it, making better use of what's there. Junk, more junk, more junk. Just kind of air fittings and bits and stuff. Awesome guy, Thomas. Watch his channel. If you want to watch car repair videos, that's the guy to watch, especially if you're into Volkswagens and Audis. Nut drivers. Um, tape, glue, grinding discs. Cutting things, saws, knives, razors, sharpeners, all that stuff. Um, this carpentry stuff basically levels squares, tape measures. Pencils, all that junk. This is miscellaneous sockets that I that I want to keep. They're all good, good brands. Good, cool ones, nice ones. This three eight set. That's another three eight set, and that's another three eight set. This is a really old Craftsman one. Uh, ratchets. Again, just various stuff I don't want to throw out, but I don't know what to do with at the moment. Down here is just wrecking bars. Snake, all those cheap metal socket rails. It's a parking laser thingy you stick on your roof and aim the laser down so when it hits your dash, you know when to stop so you don't run into the wall. Um, welding rods, caulking. I knew I had some extra caulking actually. I could use that. Put that over here. I'm doing some repairs on the hot tub. It's got a small leak that I've been chasing. Um, yeah, welding rods, welding wire, ground clamps. Um, 
I'll tell you a bit about these when I get into more depth. Uh, PPE drawer, masks for painting, gloves, dust masks, goggles, um, clamps, all sorts of C-clamps of various sizes. These plastic cheap ones, I'm sure these ones are from Princess Auto, but I think they're the same ones you guys have at Harbor Freight. They go for any wood stuff. And this is just, I don't know, old cordless drills, broken grinders, and stuff again that I don't want to get rid of I use for parts. Um, RC car motors and batteries. Um, yeah, and that bottom roller is a Craftsman. It's all right. It's kind of cheap. Like, it's flimsy. And this top box is a really old gray, gray tools from the 60s. Let's see if I can get up there. Yeah, it's at the top and mid chest. It's awesome. It's my card. Um, yeah, and I've got various tools stashed throughout the garage. I've got these cabinets, but mostly this will be a toolbox tour. And like I said, I'll I'll go into further depth with the rest of the stuff. One drawer a day. Tomorrow I will post a video going into more detail about the socket drawer. So. There you go. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions before I start posting videos of each individual drawer, just let me know down below and I'll respond to them and do what I can to help you out. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.